All right, same directions as last time. We want a line perpendicular to this one that goes through this point. Well, this time, notice there's only one letter. If you remember back uh, to 2.1, if there's only one letter, it's a vertical or, para or horizontal line. And if you remember that the x ones are the vertical ones because x is equal to 2 here, 2, negative 8, 2, negative 5, 2, negative 3, 2, 0. x is equal to 2 all the way along this line. All right, and I'm going to graph the point 5, 7. 5 right, 7 up. All right, I want the line that's perpendicular. So what is perpendicular to vertical? A horizontal line. Now, I do not want you to have to graph these. I'm just doing this visual so you have an understanding that I need to make a line that's going to go this way through that point. So it's going to be y equals. And I shouldn't have to graph it out because all I really have to look at, if I need the letter y, is to go over to that point and steal the y value. y equals 7. Boom. Oh. Nope, I'm on the wrong spot here. Five sevens are right here. So y equals seven is the line that goes right through there. All right, and it's that easy. Now, if I had done a different problem, say a y equals one through a point um, four, negative five, now we're dealing with a different type of line. So y equals one is the horizontal line through here. And the point four, negative five, left four down five is right here. So if we want perpendicular this time, we need to get a line that's going vertical to this line. So for this one, Shoot, I screwed up. Let's make this a negative 4. Okay. So now my equation is x equals negative 4. So once again, when this happens, we choose the opposite letter to get perpendicular. And then we take that letter's value. y equals 7. x equals negative 4. All right. This will get you through the end of Chapter 2, Section 2, Day 3.